Hi. 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 There's only one sad piece for our staff right now with having Calvert here today is Benny Seltzer is no longer the best player uh, on the coaching staff. That's a tough day. But uh, in our four on four uh, games that we'll play for uh, auctions and charities just got a little bit better. And the price of those should probably go up. But in all seriousness, I, I go back to uh, everything in Indiana is, is how you come up in this program, uh, is how people perceive you on the outside. And up until three years ago, I was one of those outsiders that, that looked at it with great respect and, and always looked at Indiana as something different. And Calvert Chaney was a huge part of that. And uh, as he played here, as, as, as Indiana won, and he was such a big part of it, it always registered with people in the basketball world and certainly people outside of Indiana that there was so many special things going on here and a guy like Calvert's a huge part of that, but then certainly followed him throughout his career as an NBA player. So needless to say, when you become the head coach and you get a chance to, to meet him and then spend some time with him, and then more importantly become a friend, I, I think it speaks volumes for the character of him. And, and one thing that always stood out to me our first year here was how willing Calvert was to come back and give back to this program at a very tough time where leadership had to come from the past because we just didn't have people here that understood what it was all about. And, and one of the great highlights, and there weren't a lot of highlights that first year, but one of the great highlights is that there were six different occasions that, that Calvert came back, whether it was to, to a game, whether it was for practice, he could occasionally practice with the team as part of the rules, so when he would come and do that, the impact that he would have on these guys on the court or in the locker room. He made a road trip with us. He appeared at some alumni events with us, but he, but he made some, some comments when he was in French Lick that always stood out to me, and, and it's this. Indiana is probably the best basketball program in the country, if not the world, and that's what it's all about for me. And when you've got somebody that has the background, has the, 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 the respect nationally that he has had, and he feels that way about his alma mater, well, at some point in time, you hope you're going to get a chance to connect and have him become a part of this. And that's exactly what's happened now. And uh, we are very fortunate to add him to this staff. We, we, we had a, a job opening come about that we didn't see coming when, when Drew Adams left to go to New Mexico and to play, or I should say not to play, but to work uh, for Steve Alford, a guy that he played for at Iowa. Uh, but it opened up a door when that happened to, to bring Calvert back here. And it was certainly Calvert's choice with his family, and uh, he knew that we wanted him when that opportunity came. And needless to say, we are extremely, extremely excited to have him join this family that he never left. He might have been away for a while, uh, playing in his career and, and, and doing his things, but he never left this family. And now to have him be a part of this on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, I give you Calvert Chaney. So. Well, you can. Time for kind words, Coach. Uh, you know, Coach Tom had, uh, can't, couldn't say it any better. Uh, it's, Indiana, to me, is the one of the greatest programs in the world, if not uh, if the country, if not the world. And uh, for me to be able to come back, uh, and I really want to thank Tom for for uh, considering me to come back. Uh, he gave me a call about a month, month and a half ago, and, and asked me if I was interested. And I was, you know, uh, it, it was an easy decision for me. Uh, because this is where I always, uh, and this is where I play. This is where uh, I've had some great uh, uh, years here. And, uh, and even when I was playing in the league or, or when I was enjoying retirement, or even when I'm, you know, I was assistant coach at Golden State, I would always watch Indiana play. And uh, I want to I wanna thank Coach and the coaching staff for uh, establishing a great foundation. Uh, we all know that this program has been through a lot over the past uh, you know, five to 10 years. And for Coach Green and, and, uh, and, and Tim and, and Benny and Steve coming here and, and, uh, and, 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 and provide such a great foundation uh, for this program, uh, uh, it's excellent. And that's, that's a big reason why I wanted to come back here and, and try to contribute and do whatever I could uh, to, uh, uh, to help. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful situation, I think. Uh, my family
family and I really, really do appreciate uh, Tom and everybody for, for, like I said, for, for considering us to come here and, and be a part of this. And, uh, and uh, we really, really appreciate it. And uh, uh, hopefully I can bring some, uh, some uh, experience, some, uh, some knowledge to this team and help them to grow as players and as people. Thank you very much. We'll open up to questions, but I just want to make a couple more comments that, that really fit with what we're trying to do here. And we need more people like Calvert. We need more players like Calvert, obviously. The ones that we have in this program right now are going to be benefited greatly by the presence of him, by his leadership skills, his mentoring skills, uh, his ability to, to, he knows exactly what it takes to get where a great deal of them want to go, but he also knows exactly what it takes to be successful at the places that they have no idea that are out there and what this real world is like, what your education can do for you, what, what great business sense, what a work ethic, all those things can, can bring to you. And I think he's just going to be a huge, huge part of the program now and certainly with the, the, the players that are here and certainly with the players that are coming down the road. And, and a big, big part uh, of Calvert to me, if you had to sum it up, is determination. And that's a, that's a huge, huge part of our program right now. If there's one word that I want to describe where we need this program to be inside of what the players have in their minds and hearts and abilities day after day, it's a determination. Determination on both ends of the floor, a determination in the classroom, a determination to be successful people, to represent the university, to represent the, the state, to represent their families in a, in a really, really good way but determined to, to make things different, to impact uh, Indiana. And again, that's what Calvert has done for so long, and that's what we think he's going to do in this program, joining what I already felt was the best coaching staff in the country. And I'm never going to be shy about saying that. And I think when you add Calvert to that, you just make it that much better. So we'll turn it over to questions now for either one of us, and then there'll be time, J.D., in the back or outside yep. to do more sidebars and, and things of that nature. Okay. Yep. Calvert, when you left IU all those years ago as a player, did you did you think a day like this would come? Did you think that you might end up back here in some capacity? Well, I mean, yeah, I really hadn't thought about it, um, but as but as um, but I really have thought about the fact that yeah, maybe someday I might want to become a coach, whether it be the NBA level, maybe, maybe whether it be the college level, maybe whether it be the high school level, middle school level, you know, because I, I really enjoy teaching. I really enjoy trying to. Uh, Transfer some of the knowledge that I've had over the years to other to other players that help them grow. Not not just players, but as people. And uh, that's how I was raised, and that's how I was taught. And, and I think it's only fitting to only you know want to want to give that type of knowledge to other people, other kids. So uh, that's yes. Yeah, it, it, but here in the, in the beginning, it really never crossed my mind. I wouldn't mean you just to get like a call like that from Tom after after just think the way things went down. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it was great. I mean, you know, Tom and I have always established your communication uh, ever since he got here. Uh, we've, uh, we've we've always talked. We've always we always text. We always check on one another, see how, how one, uh, each other is doing. And uh, I really relish that. I really I really I really appreciate that because he's always reached out, and not just to me, but he reaches out to all the other past players. And that's what 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 separates Tom from a lot of coaches in this country. Uh, you know, he could have easily. You know, did his own thing, and, and but but like I said, this is what you know, Indiana is all about tradition, and he understands that. And uh, and so when I got a call from him, uh, it, it was it was great. It was great, and uh, he, when he when he extended the job offer to me, uh, I mean, how can you say no? The fact that you get to come here and and uh, help out, contribute any way you can to the program, help him help try to help make it better. Uh, I mean, and then the fact that you get to come back to your alma mater and and, you know, and be here, that's a bonus to me. That's great. Calvert, what kind I mean, can I add one thing to that? I think it's important, I don't want to get lost in this, is that he is a very, very good basketball coach. And uh, that's big for us. There's no doubt about that. I don't think there's any question that if he chose to stay in the NBA, he could have done that. And uh, certainly talking to the people at Golden State, like his general manager, Larry Riley, getting to know Keith Smart this year a little bit and, and talking to him about Calvert even before uh, the job became available. And then certainly Jerry Seasting is one of my best friends in the world, and, and he really couldn't say enough good things about about Calvert. And, and I think Calvert's touched a lot of people 
in the basketball world that, that would surprise you. He's got a lot of respect, and I think he's got a tremendous future in coaching. And uh, the, the term rising star gets used a little bit too, uh, too much, I think, in basketball. He's already been a star as a player. And this is the next part of his journey in basketball and in life is to coach. And, and uh, he's got outstanding talents in those areas. And we're going to utilize them within the rules the best that we absolutely can. Now, what kind of impact do you hope to have with the players? And Tom, also, what kind of impact do you want him to have? Uh, like I said, I just want to uh, come in and contribute the best way I can. And, you know, like I said, all, all the knowledge and, and experience that I've uh, accumulated over the years, um, you know, you want to try and transfer that to the guys. Like I said, whether it be on the court or off the court. You know what I'm saying? You want them to, to strive. Uh, you know, one thing when I was here, uh, when we played under Coach Knight, he had, he had a thing up on the board that said, play hard, play smart. And uh, you, you play hard and you work hard not just physically, but mentally, and uh, you be smart, and uh, whether it be on the court or off, and that's what it's all about. Um, you want them to, to, to play hard, be determined, be willful, have a, have a tremendous heart when you're out there on the court, when you get between those lines, and that's what it's all about. You don't give an inch, and you don't give an inch off the court as well when, when it comes to life, and uh, that's, that's the type of stuff I'm going to try and see if I can uh, maybe you know, give, give those, that type of knowledge to them and that experience, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about to me. And then when, and when it's all said and done, when they all, some of, some of them might go all, on to play in the NBA. Some of them might go to play in Europe. Some might go to, might not play at all. But just make sure that they're prepared and they're, re they're, they're uh, ready to go once, uh, once they leave here. I think there's been so many different players and managers that have come through Indiana that have had a great career in basketball in the coaching area. And uh, this is the time that, that it really fit for us. Because there's no question that when you come to Indiana and you follow it like I always did, you can't learn enough about it. That's why it's so great to have, I see Bob Hamill in the fact, we'd be able to talk to him, to be able to talk to uh, Tim Garl, who's lived it, Dr. Rank, Dr. Allfeld, all these different people that have been a part of it on a daily basis. But now to have somebody in here that, that did it, and did it at a very high level, and can bring a lot of those ideals and help us. Uh, Chris Reynolds has been a big part of that for us. I don't think it's any secret that they've got such a great friendship. And, and, and because they're, they're cut really from the same cloth and, and how they feel about the game and how they uh, view things. And I think to me, when you, when you look at Calvert and what he brings immediately, we talked about the determination, but there's no question he's, got, he, he's a guy that's very talented, but he always worked very hard to, to go above and beyond what anybody ever thought he was going to be as a player. I mean, to the point of obviously being the all-time leading scorer here and in the Big Ten. And the thing that I like about him in coaching that I think serves him very well is he's got a very energized attitude with an edge to it. And when he has spoken to our team in the past as, as a former player coming back or he's been on the practice floor or he's been with us, uh, there's an edge to cover. And you've got to have that. And I mean that with all sincerity and I mean that with all respect. Uh, this is not a business. This is not a job for people just to come in and, and, and look around and not get involved. And you've got to have an attitude about you. And, and that's exactly what he has, and that's exactly what I think he's going to help transfer to the players as we go through this transformation process that we're going through. And uh, when, when you look at it and say, we need people like Calvert in the program to be successful, who better than to know what that looks like and to help make them be that way than him?